Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Cutter28 with 4 Next Level Gamers, and I thought I'd do a throwback today to where I basically picked up the multiplayer scene. This is where I kind of got started. I wasn't a big multiplayer fan until Brotherhood. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood changed my outlook on the way multiplayer was played. Uh, I'd rather be the hunter versus just always kind of going around being the first person shooter kind of genre. So, this was a nice addition. I've uh, always been a big gamer, but when it came to multiplayer, I always tend to shy away from it. So, this is where I, it kind of started for me, and I thought, what the heck? Let's go back into Brotherhood and see if it's still there. And you know what? i got to say, I was awfully pleased to see how populated it really is. There's still the high-level players, level 50, and then you got some brand-new players. So, I don't know if those are ones that have played all the others and then decided to pick up Brotherhood and then kind of go back into it. Maybe that's what they're doing. doesn't really matter. It's just nice to see that. There's a lot going on there. I'm thinking about maybe even hosting a tournament. I didn't realize it was that populated. And with the way the new Assassin's Creed 3 has, kind of having, uh, we'll say, adding your friends and all that kind of start in the lobby and stuff, it's made it difficult to incorporate eight friends or seven friends all into one place. So I'm thinking about, I'm tossing around the idea of maybe going back and doing a throwback tournament to how, when it all started for Assassin's Creed. So. Keep in touch with that. We'll go. I'll be posting that on the uh, Assassin's Creed forums, and we'll see where that goes. If there's still interest or not, I think there's a lot of people still. Um, obviously, I had no problems whatsoever getting into a multiplayer map. Uh, there's a lot of people that were saying they've waited an hour before just to get back into things, and I was in within a matter of minutes. I had no problems whatsoever. I did get kicked out uh, in one round. Not a big deal. Things always tend to happen. It's not a. It's, not necessarily a Ubisoft issue, it's just the servers, so uh, whatever it may be, regardless, I was back in in a matter of minutes. I'm um, just still kind of getting used to the old, the old mechanics of the game. Right here, the guy goes right through my smoke. You know what? Payback will come around. Uh, eventually, I'll go right through his smoke, too, so that was nice. Payback is always great. There's a little uh, a bonus called Revenge, and that's one of my main things, especially if I know my target is the person who just killed me, so I will run them down to get that revenge. Like I said, nice to be back. It, it has been a while. I've been awfully busy focusing a lot on the website. That's kind of keeping most of my focus, trying to get things up. Uh, the news is always happening. There's always something new to add, right? So if you haven't been over to our website yet, I'll leave a description and uh, leave the link in the description box below. Come on over, check out our site. Let me know. Uh, leave a... Leave a comment underneath the YouTube video and let me know what you think of the site. If you like it, any any suggestions you might want to add or see added or whatever you may, you may think at all. Whether it be, just make it constructive, I guess. Constructive criticism is always the best. The negative, you suck, this sucks, whatever, it is, it's just old. It doesn't really matter. If you think I suck, well then, I guess don't watch the video. And Honestly, this isn't my best score. Uh, speaking of suck... <laughs> This is not obviously my best score. I've had better scores, but all in all, it was just trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, it was a nice. It was fun as hell to get back into the old Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. A lot has changed actually since Brotherhood to Revelations to the way Assassin's Creed 3 plays out now for multiplayer. I still adore the free running in Brotherhood. There, there's still not. There's something about it. It's just it flows a lot better for me. Uh, Rome is my favorite map. This is my all-time favorite place to play. The new maps in Assassin's Creed 3, the, the free running of that, I just... It's so choppy. Uh, you can be running across one rooftop, and then you have to drop or head to a different direction, or... I don't know if it's just something I haven't been able to focus in on and get my lines right, or what it is, but I can basically almost run the entire map here without touching the ground. In different routes too. It's not just the same, same run, the same line all the time. It's it's different areas, different ways to escape and stuff. Something about how they crafted this map. I don't know if it was the first one they did or the last one, but regardless, they perfected Rome. It, it's fantastic. I love this map. So what's the what's going on with you guys? I haven't been uh, talking to you very much, obviously. Let me know what are you guys playing these days. I'm trying to play catch up mostly. To be honest, I've played a lot of. Uh, Dishonored. I'm still working on finishing off Assassin's Creed 3. Just about done. I'm um, looking forward to some new stuff. But yeah, like I said, before all that new kind of new games come out, especially we come the fall with the next gen systems coming. Oh my god. 
start saving in uh before you kind of cash in or mortgage your house or do whatever because between the new systems and all the games that are going to be compiling all at once i can only imagine when these systems launch it'll be assassin's creed 4 watchdogs on multiple systems right plus whatever they come with at launch 2 like i know uh sony's going to have knack they're going to have uh, probably infamous and the new kill zone just to name a few right off the top so and that's not to mention what's already coming before launch. Like, you got GTA 5. If you're a Vita fan, you got Killzone Mercenary for the Vita. You're going to have Splinter Cell Blacklist coming out August 20th. Definitely, I cannot wait for that. That's really, that's where they say multiplayer started. Back in the old days when you had a PS2, you had to have this network adapter. And unfortunately, I didn't have it at the time. So, to play Spies vs. Mercs will be a first time for me. And I'm looking... I'm really looking forward to playing it. I've watched a lot of the videos and stuff. We have it up on the site as well. So if you haven't checked that out, like I said, head over to the Splinter Cell page and check out the Spies vs. Merc. That's going to be awesome. You go from a third-person stealth perspective when you're the Spies, and then when you switch into Mercs, you're suddenly a first-person hunting the guys down. So it's got that play of cat and mouse back and forth on both sides. That's going to be a ton of fun. So now let's let's I'm gonna voice my concern heading into the release of Grand Theft Auto V. The concerns I have of the length of games. Now I don't know. Some of you I'm sure have more time than I do. Whether it's your age, you, just your stage in life in general. Right now mine's busy as hell. There's just not much I can do about it. So I game as much as I can when I can. But to get there is just, it's lacking a lot of time. So my question is, I'm going to shoot this out. And I'd, I'd definitely like to get a conversation going about this. Is how much time do you guys like to focus on a game? Do you like to start it and finish it? Which is obviously the goal when you first initially pick up the game. However, how far do you go? If the game's 40 hours, 60 hours, 100 hours, like Nino Kuni is 100 hours. If you do a lot of the stuff, right? Like, that's just... It's so long. I don't have time to sink 100 hours. Now, having said that, maybe if I decided to get off the multiplayer, I would actually have time to finish the games because I've sunk well into 80 hours or 100 hours in each of the multiplayers for Assassin's Creed. Hands down, that was easy. So I probably got well over 300 hours combined for AC Brotherhood, Revelations, and AC3. AC3, I don't think I've played as much out of, uh, just because of lack of time. It's not that I don't want to. Um, it's just, like I said, the lack of time. So would you guys rather focus on a 10-hour experience, a 40-hour experience? So with the Grand Theft Auto V coming, they're, they're saying it is five times the size of Red Dead Redemption. Now, I remember when I put Red Dead Redemption in, I got the full scale of the map, but I thought, holy crap, this is huge. So now, at the end of the life cycle for the PS3 and the Xbox 360, they're, they've scaled Grand Theft Auto V to be five times the size of that? I, uh, my concern is, am I going to have the time to finish it? I'm so looking forward to playing. The game looks incredible. But, it's the time. And there's so much to do, you can lose yourself in it, right? Like, I'm playing Far Cry 3, and I'm off hunting trying to build up my loot sack and I'm trying to upgrade this or I'm trying to get money for that or I'm not even playing the story I'm just off which is a blast the match will end. but again I'm going away from the story so in some aspects I gotta kind of scale it down so I can at least get through the story and finish that experience right so like going back to it 10 hours is what we'll say uncharted 3 give or take right let's go with journey a two-hour experience would you rather pay now providing the money's there right at 20 bucks we can jump in play for two or three hours depending on the scope of the game like the cave for instance there's another one you play for a couple hours it's over but then again you can always go back and replay it or would you rather sink all of your time into something that's like grand theft auto 5 that's coming out or would you rather go for the Beyond Two Souls that's coming out, which they say is going to be around 8 to 10 hours. Myself, personally, due to lack of time, I want to focus on something that's in about 10 hours. Get in, 
enjoy that experience, get out and move on to the next thing. So, that's just me, guys. Leave me a comment in the section below. Let's see if we can get this going. And I will be back, hopefully, next week. This is fun. I am Cutter28 with For Next Level Gamers. I'll catch the next level. I'm out.